What's going on everybody? My name is Andrew 47 for all of you that don't know and for those of you that do welcome back to the channel for more quality Halo content today You know yesterday we did a lot of reactions three of them to be precise, but Today we got 12 minutes of Halo infinite multiplayer footage more so like with context than yesterday So I thought that I would get my two cents and we would get a little bit of a um, An overview of the overview. I guess you could say but. Let's get into this already. This new 343 Industries logo is badass. I really like this. It's dope. We're getting the base intro Just thing the here. Of like being in a firefight and hearing the, the click of the gun, throwing it down, grabbing one off the wall. My gunner's upside down and he's like laying in. I see kill assist, kill assist, kill assist. And so this looks really cool. Whatever gun allows me to feel the most like John Wick. I am there. This pistol, I know people don't like it, but it sounds fantastic. It sounds really beefy. Halo means something different for everyone, right? I think that that's what makes Halo great. Hmm. This, this helmet is interesting to me. Uh, it looks like a mix of the two EVA helmets, like, smashed together. I think that's really cool. What is Halo multiplayer? And for me, it boils down to this tight arena style combat mm -hmm. and big totally team battle, agree. this wide open vehicle infused uh, kind of combat. We're taking that awesome legacy or classic Halo combat experience and modernizing it in ways that'll feel fresh to old players and really exciting to new players. We're gonna give you great ways Bro, to customize your Spartan, he gets really make your super really soldier does. your own and we're kicking off a journey, an experience that's going to evolve month to month, season to season, year after year. Interesting. For me, working through this multiplayer of this game, and the toughest challenge, I think, was really about how do we respect the legacy of what came before us, but still build something that feels new. We've tried to bring all these elements of legacy and really inject them into Halo Infinite, not just like I love how they, they really focus on like the original trilogy. They don't really say anything about four and five, which I think kind of sucks. But... Oh, and okay, this is interesting right here. So the little blue guy in the right corner, that's an interesting helmet. I don't think we've seen that anywhere else. It might be the first helmet, just a different visor color, but I could be totally wrong. But this is also the color thing. So like the colors are out. Red versus blue, no. You could see it there. It was just outlines. You got the Mark V there. The vision of Arena was See that bolt up is just crazy it fast. Fair. It was all about earning every Okay, this right here. This is really interesting too. So it looks like I'm assuming all guns have this, but the smart link from Halo 5 is just a lot less egregious here. Let's see a zoom out here in a second. The yeah, there it is. Earning everything, every kill you get. Going back to like what is the blood spatter there. Couldn't exactly tell if that guy shot the grenade Halo and that's what blew it up. Arena but maybe. Great. Halo, okay, this is cool. So this right here, I, I can't tell if this is the intro or if they're in, like, theater. Because, like, in the bottom, it looks like theater. But then it also looks like that's just the multiplayer, like, Slayer, like, 50-50 scoreboard. I, I don't know. Around, it's about scavenging. It's about finding new toys and, and kind of developing your play style as you run through the match. <laughs> I don't understand why that dude didn't get the kill there. Like, why did they show that? He just picked it up, shot, and somebody else got the kill. <laughs> is the sandbox. Like, the sandbox is Halo. Correct. When we set totally out to agree. look at Halo Infinite from a high level and the direction of what it is, there's lots of exciting things there because we really wanted to push what are the things that are true to Halo? Okay, what are the this, things that fans the, the, the bubble wall thing is interesting to me. I'm going to replay it here, but, like, look at the way he throws this grenade, right? phases the wall out and then he starts shooting at it because like the few things that we've seen it makes it look like there's a hole in the middle kind of there's just like a literal barricade but it's not and i don't know if grenades just go equipment through it or is what. Back, but equipment is kind of has the has a, has a bigger voice than ever before we ask questions to ourselves of uh if you could go after you know a power weapon to get a bunch of kills uh, would you do that or Gravity would you go and get sick. grapple to make sure that you swing yourself to the other side of that the map That grapple is going to be so strong. useful. Like, I'm going to, there's going to be people using so many different ways, it's going to be nuts. For teams to coordinate around. 
the exciting the wall too like that's just that's crazy you know, this but like it looked like he was shooting at it like so you can shoot at it one side super okay this a lot of people don't notice this the dude literally uses the repel thing or whatever it is the like uno reverse he uses it to jump that's sick like that that is i'm super excited about that the most the active camouflage for this title what we're looking at what we're excited for is you pick that up and you choose when you activate it. it this inventory. It is really it. interesting. If someone kills you in multiplayer, you drop that overshield, and then they can take it, use it for themselves. That to me is very legacy, but we took the equipment side of it. Yeah, I, I agree with him here. Like, that is an interesting concept. I wonder if there's a way that you can, like, see that people are holding an armor ability. I think that's kind of important. The, the vehicles, we went in and decided to invest a lot in the, the systems when I take damage in my Warthog. Uh, my, my we get the vehicle damage off. here. We've known about this for a while now, but it does it sounds really how cool. My vehicle handles now, and that's something that's brand new. The other thing we added to that is like this doomsday mechanic. So when and this was talked about uh, before Halo 2 came out. I, I don't think it actually made it into the game though. But yeah, you've got both health and a timer once it starts catching on fire before the thing blows up. You can't just run around with it. Multi storage. This is you cool. Put a lot of stuff into. So if you want to put like detached turrets, power weapons, the detached. I don't coils, understand that. Things, and that is what really making uh, the Razorback kick a lot of butt in MP and campaign. Because he, here he says specifically an MP and campaign, not forge or custom. So like you can put things on this for all intents and purposes, scout hog in the game while you're playing it. That's just badass. The levels define pace for the game, how frantic it is, and they define that iconic fantasy for players as they're entering that match. What do they want to do? <laughs> the chopper. Um, what type of experience are they hoping to have? What kind of combat, what kind of dance floor is there available to have that combat? <sighs> this, the grapples, like, so... It merges so well with, like, swords and stuff specifically. It's, it's sick. Uh, the full extent of the sandbox of Halo in just one match, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you see the vehicles, the weapons, the equipment. We really... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna pause it here. This for late night Halo's video on it needs to be better. I just thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> I wanted to take that kind of concept, those feels you had, you know, playing the, no play, spinning, playing the no previous nothing. games, and just turn the volume up. Vehicles are no longer just spawning. This in okay. Anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and reverse a little slower so maybe you can see it. But no, that there's a freaking shield there. There's a shield in front of the gunner on that thing. We have pelicans delivering That's gonna be interesting. them, and we have a commander in your ear telling you that pelicans are gonna be dropping I think she's off literally just replacing Palmer. <laughs> we have Halo 2 style Hope there's like a, a legitimate Halo reason for it, and if she does die, it's at least field. badass. That's where it makes I know a lot of people hate her, but like a real battlefield, and and it's very exciting. This is not just more players. This is just. I'm kind of worried about them like just letting everyone know they're dropping off vehicles though. I mean, we'll have to play it. We'll have to see in the, the insider flights. The but. announcer is your big gameplay moments, your game modes, just like the way it was before. Personal AI is effect. really a Gets reflection and information for the player. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So if a player grabs they did this in Titanfall 2, and this is just an extension, to, but you know, better. Back to base it's better for new like players, too. Oh, okay, this is a like a subtle sound. You hear that? There is a beep when you take it. That's that's also going to be interesting. Those are different voices, so that players can find the one that fits their personality and their mood the best. They they add to the sense of like me, as a, as a Spartan. Being See, that's how you get immersed. More important and, and for sick. us in multiplayer, it is really about becoming a Spartan. Like you got to do the Spartan. tutorial in order to get it, but I mean it's pretty universe. obvious. The body of customization content. Okay, this one, this right here. You got your armor coating, like look at all that, and the armor core that specifically to me stands out. Also the helmet um, attachments and stuff, but like the armor core, what is that? Millions Why is it focusing on the middle? Because you can see it here too. Because he goes into it later. Things like armor coatings, uh, armor emblems, various armor effects. Down to the individual armor pieces, so your shoulders, your gloves, your knee pads, yeah, just your helmet, like your visor, your helmet then I can do gloves and stuff too. Weapons, and we've got a whole slew of customization offerings. There. Okay, this is interesting. You got your weapon bench, 
I'm assuming to customize your weapons and stuff, your vehicle bay for the same thing, body, that. But what is presentation? Do you have emotes and stuff? Air vehicles have a, have a huge pool of customizations too. We support customization in the game. Players can do the same thing on Halo This is cool, you could do this in as five. As well as I really liked it, but it looks even the better here. also customizes the Spartan, the soldier inside the suit. We want the Spartan to represent the player as this much as me. possible. They can change their body type, and their voice as well as choose prosthetics for the first time see this is kind of disingenuous here because like when he said that I, I got really excited thinking that you could like actually make your face and stuff underneath but like it's really just your arms and legs and the voice it is an added you couldn't do that in reach and it is more here but saying you can customize a character underneath is kind of like i said disingenuous but that's just me Coatings offer us a unique opportunity to craft some hyper-polished looks and let you express they yourself really in ways you, you've never been able to before. So we're coming at this from a player-first mentality. So what that means is that there's no random yeah. loot in this. There's no loot boxes. It's very important to us that everyone understands exactly how they unlock customization content. He says player-first, and like I understand how they can be done well. Don't get me wrong. And I'm really excited because of the way they do it in, like, Anthem. It's just, I'm really worried about the way they're going to monetize it. Like, if they don't have at least one armor coating that you can unlock for every regular color you could have in Reach or 4, then that's just going to be, that. that's going to piss so many people off, including myself. Like, you have to at least have some free armor coatings for every color that you could get in the original Halo games. I mean, you, you just gotta do. And we have a variety of places where they can do that. First off is the Battle Pass. The Halo Battle this Pass will is how every fucking away. Battle Pass should do that, their Battle Passes, it, I swear. Does not expire. In future seasons, Beautiful. You can purchase Beautiful. old Battle Passes as well as the current Battle Pass mm. and choose so which good. Battle Pass to put your progression towards. All Don't have to be Russian at the end of the so season to finish it. Oh, it's going to be so nice. From. If you can unlock something in the battle pass, we're not going to let any other players circumvent that by purchasing it out of the storefront. But, oh, uh, another little thing. Here you can see the BR reticle. It's just a little tiny thing, but in the trailer yesterday, they had like a weird plus reticle, and now they've got the regular one. I don't know, something Master J pointed out and thought it was interesting to note that it... Also, he said you couldn't buy things from the storefront that you could get in the Battle Pass. I don't know if that means that you can't buy Battle Pass levels, or if, like, you can only get them through gameplay. I have no idea. A lot of our stuff is unlocked through playing the game and only through playing the game. All customization is just cosmetic. Every season will have its own theme and introduce... I can't tell if that animated... If that's an animated visor, the pink one on the far right, but we see a few different variations here. No, I've seen people call the one on the left, the middle left, uh, squint variant. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, and the second one from the left looks like it's a new variation on like the uh, the soldier from four and five, but looks that's pretty cool. Gameplay for players, new opportunities to earn and collect cool rewards. We've seen the the samurai already. Samurai that's looks one of our badass. Armor cores, and that's gonna you see, be something says armor that players can earn through gameplay for free. You can earn them through gameplay, but what does armor core mean? What does it mean? Is it like every piece is a core? Like your chest piece and your helmet is a core? I, like, I don't know. Like in Reach, we had a base part that we could do and we could add on to it. I, I don't know. You have to With see. us going free to play for the multiplayer part of the game, like that was a big goal because, you know, how do we have a way we can always bring players in, right? And they can, when we have a new update, there's, there's, They'll just dip their toes in if they even just want to see it. Not only are we free to play, but we're free to play on PC play as good. well as console. And what that means get is a lot of new players we're in able here. to get the biggest People love free to play games. Ever had. Everybody gets to play with How did they just let them make multiplayer free to play? Carries from one platform. But then that's what makes me worried about the monetization for the colors. Like, console at the same time is an amazing uh, we need to see that. Really just kind we need of to see that. new players about the game. How can we do things like make cross-play interesting and like even in just customs being able to just play with your friends that like some people have pcs and some people have consoles and like let them talk to each other let them be friends okay this is cool i mean it just confirms that there's um in-game chat for both pc and xbox to me and i like that this is a little thing but it's important why are you here to be a spartan academy oh, yeah. is a place that you can go uh within mp to 
kind of onboard into the experience. It's great for newer players who are still picking up the controls and also people who... I have plenty of friends that are... Before they head into they don't games. like to play Halo because they think they're bad at it. This would be perfect for them. tutorial to get started for the first time, weapon drills to practice with specific I like items, how they said push A to jump. Mode. Like a lot of people are going to be using bumper jumper. <laughs> That AI was really stupid though, <laughs> like you can't even say them. Some of these characters, what, what are they about? And help them kind of know the vocabulary that people have been speaking for now almost 20 years so that we, when they come in there, they don't feel like they're behind everyone else. They can kind of come in on an even... He says know the vocabulary, like it's supposed to be teaching them the gameplay and the vocabulary. But the issue is like yesterday's trailer, the announcer said no scope. And so a few people, like, uh, I was talking to on Twitter yesterday, like, Chris Bershorn specifically, we were, like, not really sure why they changed that. It just seems like a small change to something more generic, and Snapshot just is cooler, in our opinion. But it's just a tiny thing. I thought it was maybe because, like, for newer players, they would know more of what a no-scope is than a Snapshot. But if they're teaching them terminology, I don't understand why they changed that then. I mean, I'm super jazzed about bots. I think they're awesome. Our goal with bots has been to have a variety of difficulties that kind of provide a good training partner for wherever you're at in the experience. Partnering with our players on the road to shape. launch and after launch Mad is respect. absolutely critical, right? I mean, Halo's always been about the community conversation. We want to make sure we hear our players make changes where we can based on that feedback, mm -hmm. make sure the game is ready for launch. And, and I think that's why they launch. haven't announced the release date yet, because they want to see our first flight reactions when we actually play the game. The community's hands. You know, whether it's seeing what people make in Forge or the content that they're able to create with theater, watching streamers go after the game. Theater has involved, to be fantastic. They, they've Halo messed it up in the last few games. Gamer tag, and we should be able to reach out to you if we want to invite you to a Halo Infinite flight. Mm -hmm. We feel like we've got a pretty good selection at launch and what's going to be there for our fans. And this isn't going to be something See, he that says selection, and I don't know if he's talking about select game modes, select weapons, or both, because it seems like he's definitely talking about at least weapons and equipment. New maps, mm. new modes, interesting. new ways to customize your Spartan. Launch is just the beginning. Now we're just going to be able to talk, interact more frequently. And that's just going to be great. That is the future of Halo Infinite multiplayer. Thank you to the community for all their feedback over the years so far. And uh, I'm looking forward to the road to launch, launch itself, and beyond. Yeah, me too. This is a nice little montage right here really quick. Um, this is interesting. You see the shot grenade there. Couldn't really tell what it did, though. This... I haven't seen people talk about it. The only time we've seen an active camo pickup that I'm aware of, but I mean, that shows that it is a pickup and you can hold it and use it whenever you want. That's cool. I swear I want to do that so bad. <laughs> it makes me want to use the hammer more than the sword. And I, I've always liked the sword better. I don't know. That's about it. Anyways. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, that was my breakdown of the overview of the overview. But yeah. Thought I would do this instead of a reaction today because we did three of those yesterday. But uh, yeah. Appreciate it, guys. We reached 700 subs yesterday just from our reactions. It's pretty awesome. So appreciate you all. See you in the next video.